Today, we will explore nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN. Derived from vitamin B3, NMN is a crucial building block for NAD+, a vital coenzyme in numerous cellular metabolic processes. NMN can be found in various fruits and vegetables, like broccoli, cabbage, avocado, tomato, cucumber, and edamame. Recent research on NMN shows a strong link to health and longevity benefits, including improved metabolism, enhanced cognition, cardiovascular protection, and more, particularly in animal models. Medical studies have shown that NMN levels in adults decrease with age. It is suggested that supplementing NMN can correct this insufficiency, providing the body with an ample supply. Medical studies support a daily supplementation of one gram of NMN. In today's video, we'll explore a new medical study published in January 2024 investigating NMN's effects on atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a chronic inflammatory disease and a main contributor to cardiovascular diseases like stroke and heart attack. It involves the buildup of plaques on artery walls. In this study, researchers examined whether NMN supplementation might help prevent atherosclerosis using a mouse model. Mice were fed a high-fat diet to induce atherosclerosis, then divided into control and NMN supplementation groups for comparison. Key findings show that taking NMN supplements reduced the buildup of plaques in arteries, made the plaques more stable, and positively affected stress and inflammation in the body, compared to the group that didn't take the supplements. While these results are promising, additional rigorous human trials are needed to translate these findings clinically and explore optimal NMN dosing and timing for potential atherosclerosis therapies. This research provides compelling early data supporting the anti-atherosclerotic effects of NMN supplementation in mice, setting the stage for further studies on leveraging NMN for cardiovascular protection. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the recent research on NMN and atherosclerosis. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more science and medical study breakdowns. Don't forget to like and subscribe.